Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'm going to talk about making YouTube videos, specifically how I make them. So it's not that bad once you get into it, but it is time consuming and if you put in some effort like my videos or anyone else's videos that have a lot of intricate editing. Now keep in mind that editing a commentary video like most of mine usually take much less time than reviewing a keyboard or mouse for example. I can easily spend 8 hours editing something like that with my awful skills versus completing and finishing a commentary video in 4 hours. But because because this video is mostly a commentary video, I'm going to be going over commentary videos. Just a quick note, I'll be adding some interesting annotations in this video so make sure you have them enabled. I promise I won't spam them. Now starting with probably the most boring part, researching and writing a video. I'm an awful public speaker and so I need a script to talk like one of those that you see right here. It usually starts off with an idea. For example, on my personal YouTube channel I was just watching random videos and I came across this guy accusing grade A under A of all this BS and there was this part regarding grades video editing process and this guy was saying this and that on how grades video shouldn't take that long to edit and I think hold up. This guy thinks grades videos are easy to edit. Good lord, long story short, now I'm writing the script on how I make YouTube videos because it is definitely not an easy or short process. And so I'm using that guy's video as a source to be linked in my video description and I'm using grades video as another source. This is the research part. Generally though, for most of my other videos I'll be searching on Reddit to find an article and if I don't find anything there I'll go to Google and search up some keywords like AMD Vega, AMD Zen, Intel Skylake X, KB Lake, you get what I mean. So two ways of researching, those get my ideas onto the script which I am then writing. Once I'm done writing the script, I'll open up Audacity and I'll do a quick audio test like this. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is a test. And also you need to make sure that the ceiling fan is off, no one in the house making his noise as well, at least if you have a great mic or else your audio could sound like this. Versus, and that's ugly. No one likes crummy audio. Anyways, I'll start recording once I know how everything sounds and my strategy probably like everyone else's is like this. And that's a- <laughs> And that's ugly- no- Ah, oh, man. A anyways, and that's ugly. No one likes crummy audio. And that's ugly. No one likes crummy audio. Anyways, I'll start recording once I know how everything sounds and my strategy probably like everyone else's is like this. Pretty much that for however long I record. It saves time instead of restarting the entire recording and it's easy to cut out once you're editing the audio. And now we're editing the audio. Even though we made sure no sound would come through, I still like to mute the pauses between my words to make sure that there's nothing distracting when I stop talking, like breathing. And that's another tip. Try cutting out your breathing in the recording. No one likes hearing this. Editing my audio is the worst and most boring part of making a video and it takes a long time and it's repetitive hearing myself say the same stuff over and over. And eventually I'll be done with the audio. I'll save that and my script to a file in a set of folders somewhere in my computer which is super organized which I will not be going over. Now that I saved and exported my audio I am now either going to record gameplay or start editing the video. Let's talk gameplay though. For myself, subpar gameplay is a staple of my channel. It's not because I'm just awful at every game. It's because I don't have time to cherry pick a gameplay like everyone else on YouTube. Usually it goes like this. I'll make sure that my shadow play is set up for the length of time that my audio is run for or longer and I'll then go ahead and start up a game and just play. I'll set a timer on my phone to make sure that I play for that set amount of time from shadow play so that I know exactly how long my clip will be so that when I hit stop I know what I have. So this is how I get my gameplay pretty much every time and I'll cut it into sections sometimes so I can use the same gameplay for different videos and it's still relatively fresh. I record in 1080p 60fps at 50 megabits, just so you know. Now here we are, almost the last step of making a video yet the most time consuming part. I have a general format that my videos go by. Intro loud music, fade into low music, voiceover through video with stuff in between all the way to outro and fade into loud music annotations and fade out music to silence. All of this is simple, yes, but it takes time putting everything into place as well as everything else in between which can range from screenshots, sound bites, to other video clips as examples. I use DaVinci Resolve since it offers the highest render quality in a video editor for free that I know of. Now this is what my general workflow looks like. Make sure you have annotations on so you can skip ahead if you get bored of me editing.
Okay, now after a long time of that, I'll usually go in and color grade my gameplay. Now I'm not sure how many gameplay commentators do this, but to me, I like seeing colors pop. It really makes a big difference color grading your gameplay. Now, take a look at this. We're playing Black Ops 3. This is fun, and you see my subpar gameplay. So nice. This is the color graded version though. Now look at this without being altered. Ugh, meh. Ah! I can't believe I play this. Good lord. It's just a small quality of life improvement. I believe it helps brighten up the viewer's day looking at colors pop. Anyways, once I'm done grading all of that, I set a file destination and name the file and I start rendering. Generally, we're looking at roughly 20 minutes per video because my videos are usually around the 3 to 5 minute mark. These are my specs here, but for longer videos like the one you're watching now, it can take about 40 minutes to an hour. I don't have another computer to work on, so this time is usually just wasted talking to my girlfriend or not wasted, or I'm just sitting around on Bacon Reader on my phone. Now we move on to uploading the video. Usually I'll start uploading it and I set the title, description, tags, etc, and it'll still be uploading. So then I go into GIMP and I'll put together a thumbnail. This is definitely the fastest part of making a video because making thumbnails are really fun to me and it's also easy. If I'm going to add a stock photo to my thumbnail, I'll probably go into Pixabay, which I use exclusively almost not sponsored but I really love their selection of photos and their website in general I'll look up something like PCB or GPU computer stuff like that and you'll see pictures I've used in my own thumbnails here all of these pictures are royalty free and most don't need you to list them as a source in your video and the website has a great selection that's why I like it anyways we find a picture save it open it to edit in GIMP and I'll usually resize it and place it into a 720p picture the default size of thumbnails on YouTube with these, I'll usually lessen the contrast and up the brightness so you can read the text which I always place so that it's a little easier to focus on the text. And so, for the text, I start typing, set up my formatting options, and I'll add a shadow to it so that the text is emphasized over the photo. Pro tip, I like putting text in every thumbnail because I'm the type of person to look at a thumbnail to know if I'm going to watch that video or not. And so when I'm all done here, I'll save it and export the picture, add it to my video, and that's probably still uploading, and at that point, the entire video I've made is done. Yay! But now I need to place annotations and cards in the video to whatever it is that I've listed in my video like my other videos in the end. I also usually schedule my videos so that you may notice that this one, for example, uploaded at 12 a.m. on whatever day this is, so yay for keeping a good schedule. I then set a goal for myself to upload a video every day of the business week, meaning Monday through Friday, though there are exceptions like if I don't have time, I'll miss a video, or if there's something really important on a weekend, I'll upload it then. Now imagine this whole process. Whatever the video is and do that five times every week, good lord. And I'm working on my own, so this is especially time consuming, considering that I go to school full time and exercise every day. When you're listening to this, remember that I'm still writing the script of this video, holy guacamole, and now I'm recording it, and now you're watching it, and all the steps in between. In fact, I can write in right here that I think Linus seems like a great guy, or that I wish Tech Syndicate wasn't breaking up, and I'm saying it into my mic, editing it afterwards, and adding this here during editing, and then this annotation. So there is a very long process that goes into making proper semi-professional to professional YouTube videos, and even more so depending on the intricate cuts and effects that you add during during editing. Good thing for me, I actually enjoy most of this except for the audio part, so it's not a chore, but this is what it takes to be successful on YouTube. That's why you'll see some people get help and pay for editing, hire employees, or even outsource their intricate thumbnails. It takes a long time, but it can be very rewarding as you see here, whether you're doing it for the money or just to see something you do succeed, like myself. If this is too much for you, I don't blame you, but if you think you can do this, go right ahead. Shout me out while you're there. Heh. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching this long video. If you want to see PC gaming oriented content, go ahead and click on these annotations to get somewhere nice and informational. Subscribe and like this video to show your support. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.